Hey guys, it's a Wednesday, um, 10, almost 10 o'clock. I'm headed over to our last mommy group. I'm so sad. Um, it's today, so I'm headed over there. And then I'm going to be running some errands with the baby who is asleep right now in the car. Um, so just gonna vlog today, um, just my errands. I'm super exhausted. The baby um, is definitely going through a four month regression, sleep regression, teething, um, all sorts of stuff. So it's been super, super hard to get any rest with him or just like get anything done because he has just been so needy and he just wants to be held all the time. So it's been really, really hard to um, function. But thankfully, um, it seems to be getting a little bit better and he is mellowing out. Sunday and Monday were horrible. He just would cry nonstop and I'm just like, what is wrong? We took him to the doctor and thankfully nothing is wrong it's just four months this is what they go through so i'm hoping that this is done and over with <laughs> sorry my phone is falling i need to get an adapter thing um so i'm hoping that it's all done and over with and we are going back to calmer days but yeah um i'm gonna try to I want to go to Costco. I have to get a fan for our bedroom because it's really, really hot. And I'm nervous about him sleeping in such warm temperatures. Um, I'm not sure if that's still a factor for someone his age, but I don't want to even risk it with SIDS. Um, and then I'm going to um, go to... Need to go to Target. I want to get something like a car organizer for all my stuff for him and clean out my trunk and just get everything a little bit more organized for my car because I'm just a hot mess in here. Um, and then I also wanted to go to Big Lots by our I'm holding the phone so it doesn't fall. Big Lots by our house because I just haven't been. And I also want to hit up Burlington Coat Factory just to see if they have any cute decor items for the house. And just kind of like running around doing some like not so important things today because I feel like my maternity leave is coming to an end pretty soon. <laughs> and I just want to do some stuff that I'm going to be like, damn, I wish I had done that. Damn, I wish I had done that. So I'm just trying to enjoy my time and really soaking in all the time that I have with the baby because every time I look at him I'm just like oh my god I'm gonna miss you so much when I'm at work and I really really just want to enjoy all the time that I possibly can with him now because I know it's gonna come pretty fast and then I'm gonna like be I'm gonna be so sad I'll be a mess the first day like I'm away from him but going to pick him up is gonna be the best moment of my day so I'm like super excited for that um, what else? We're gonna go to daycare tomorrow for two hours. Um, I'm gonna try to go, well, we'll go right after. He has his GI appointment tomorrow, so we'll go right after that. Um, and hopefully he does better. I think my plan this time is to take him in. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna feed him, whether it's like a little snack or, um, a full feed and then slowly hand him over to someone new so he's eight he's comfortable I'm gonna you know make sure he has something of his that brings him comfort um, he's not really attached to anything so it's kind of hard he doesn't really love his webinars so I'm gonna see but I'm gonna like ease him into it instead of just handing him to somebody um, so that he doesn't cry his little balls off but um, that's the plan so hopefully it goes a lot better but regardless I am home for two weeks before I drop him off and go to work so hopefully you know he starts June 25th full-time so hopefully he's adjusted by then 
um, and doesn't need to be picked up because he's crying too much. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, in those two weeks, he really uh, gets, you know, adjusted to the class, the teachers, and just like chills out, you know. I know he's going to have bad days there. I know he's going to have moments where he's just going to cry and, you know, it's just, it is what it is. Like, it's America and I can't stay at home and work. I can't afford it, you know what I mean? And uh, my benefits are so amazing that it just would be dumb for us, you know what I mean? Like, we're just not blessed in that way. <laughs> we're blessed in every other way and I'm so grateful to, you know, be living the life that I have, but we have to work and I'm blessed to have this job because it's really what's making everything happen for us and my husband's job you know what I mean so it's cool we'll figure it out um it would be awesome though if my company was like yeah you could work two days from home like that would be amazing because not only would that cut the cost of daycare but I could spend two days at home with him and I wouldn't feel like I'm missing so much you know what I mean because then he would go part-time and they go part-time full-time is by days not hours so if he went three days a week then that would consider that would he would be considered part-time and it would be super cool because then you know I wouldn't feel like I'm missing so much um, but you can't win them all so um so now I'm headed to mommy group like I said today is the last day so they're doing like a little graduation um, and so that'll be fun and we all chipped in and got the instructor a, a gift card for a massage because she was doing this mommy group for free it was like a support breastfeeding support group that we just turned into a mommy group because everybody just needed to get out of the house and talk to other moms and just hang out and so I have that and then I have my lactation appointment right afterwards with Chrissy. She's amazing. Um, I will actually link her website below for anybody that's like in the LA area, Thousand Oaks, uh, San Fernando Valley who need an amazing lactation consultant. She is the best. So I will link that below so you guys can check her out. Um, I left the house with no water and no coffee and no lactation juice so I'm gonna be very sleepy and thirsty but I'll probably stop um, at a Starbucks and just get a tea or, or something to drink I, I really need to drink more water because I feel like my supply might be dipping a little bit because I'm not hydrating as much as I should but I swear by my upspring lactation juices so I will definitely I drink a huge bottle of that um, if I don't take it out with me during the day when I get home I make a huge bottle and I literally try to drink it all before the night's over um, because that seriously makes such a big difference such a big difference um, um, so yeah so headed there now running a little behind schedule but that's okay and the baby's asleep which is great um so i'm gonna try to vlog when i'm out and about and crack out of my shell and try to you know be a better vlogger but um bear with me guys i'm trying to break out of my shell so i will see you guys in a few I'm sorry this lighting is going in and out is because I'm in the car driving and I'm not really sure you know it's not safe to hold it like this so but I will check in with you guys after my lactation appointment and mommy group alrighty hey guys so here I am back I am going to be pumping, so let's see how this works out. I have the baby here next to me in his little bouncy chair. Um, I have to pump and then I, we have to leave again because I told Jonathan I would get some groceries for us for tonight that he needed. 
Um, so I am going to have to leave for that, but I want to see if my supply really did take a dip or not and just pump some because I fed him. So he should be good. And then I want to try two teaspoons of this avocado before we leave and see how he how he takes to it. Um, so I think my supply is taking a dip just because he's eating so much. I love that. But I don't think it has. So it's, you know, hit or miss because... Um, you never really know because they're eating so much that you feel like they're taking everything and you don't have anything left to give them. So my concern is to make sure that I have enough pumps for when I go to work because he's gonna need something. And with this milk protein allergy, I've heard the formula like Alimentum and Nutramagen and all these things suck. So um, as of right now, I'm getting droplets out, but it's just the few first seconds. So hopefully, the milk starts coming out um but i'm doing my best i'm trying not to stress about it so that it's not you know causing lack of milk um for when i'm pumping but um, there's some coming now <laughs> but it's hard to not stress when you're a working mom and you need this milk because you know that this is what he's going to be eating and drinking so I'm just hoping that, you know, it all works itself out and I have a nice stash of milk to give him when he goes to daycare. So, we'll see. So, I'm just going to sit here and pop for a few minutes and then I will jump back on and show you how much I got. So, I got two ounces pretty much, which is a low pump for me but at this point I'm trying to use all my products to boost my um, my supply back up so it'll be a little bit of a process but it's okay I'm not gonna give up because I definitely want to figure this out so I'm gonna try to feed the baby some food because he's getting crazy um, and so I will check in with you guys because this will be the first time so I'm sure it'll be interesting for us both so I'll come back and check in with you guys afterwards So it didn't go so well. Um, I poured it in here, which was one tablespoon, and he probably didn't even eat a dent in it. And you could see he's upset and he's crying. And he has more avocado on his bib than he did in his mouth. Huh. You want a little bit? Can I give you just a little bit? No. So we'll try again tomorrow or maybe later tonight as like a little snack in between. But yeah, he didn't he didn't love it. So just wanna make sure this dial is at nine. Um I think what I'll try also is mixing it with some breast milk and see if he takes it that way. But we'll see. Um so I am going to wrap up his laundry, hang up all his laundry, and then we're gonna leave. I'm gonna calm him down and then do all that, and then I'll come back and check with you guys. What are you doing, bubbly? Hey guys, so I think I'll go ahead and just end the vlog here. Um, we're just lounging, and 
so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I think we're gonna run some errands. There's the baby kicking my guts. He didn't really eat his avocado. Jonathan's here making fun of me because I'm vlogging. Um, so I'm gonna try again in a little bit and see if he eats a little bit of it and see how that goes. But hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say bye, boo boys. Bye.